Alright, hey guys, uh, it's going to be a video tutorial real quick on how to show you how to connect your uh, Xbox 360 fight stick to your PC so that you can uh, use it when you play uh, fighting games like uh, Street Fighter Third Strike or Marvel vs. Capcom on uh, the emulators like Coox and GTPO. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go here. You're going to go to xpatter.com. You're going to click on the download button. It's only a few megabytes, so it takes like a couple of seconds. Um, just know right now that this version only supports Windows XP Vista and Windows 7. Okay, so after that, you're gonna go to if you don't if you haven't already done this, you need to connect uh, uh, your fight stick to your uh, PC. So you're gonna go to Google, type in real quick uh, how to. Uh, connect Xbox 360 controller to uh, computer. Uh, it's going to bring up this web page, uh, Microsoft Support. You're going to then go down to right here where it says Microsoft.com slash hardware download. You're going to download it, you're going to run the file, and then it's going to allow you to connect your fight stick to the computer so it recognizes it when you plug it in. After you do that, you're going to then open uh, XPatter and uh, let me get it open real quick okay. it has this happy face with this controller okay once you get it open it's gonna come up on this screen for the first time that you guys do this it's gonna be white so the thing that you need to do is you need to go right here to the where the controller is and you need to hit new. Um, oh crap. I hit open, my bad. You need to hit new. And it's gonna hit, it's gonna bring up this pink uh, screen. Okay, from here, you're gonna go to image. You're gonna make sure you click on image. You're gonna go to open and there should be a file uh, with it called controller images or a folder, my bad. You're gonna go here that's not what I wanted to do. Give me one second. Okay. Delete that real quick. Okay, you're going to go to thumbnails. Uh, crap, I didn't show you. You're going to go here. Click thumbnails is the best way to do it. Then go down to where uh, Xbox 360 controller is right here. It's uh, Microsoft Xbox 360 dot Jonathan. You're going to click this. It's going to bring up this Microsoft, uh, this Xbox 360 controller. You need to use this one because it has the triggers enabled on it. If you use the, uh, the black one or the GameStop one, it's a little bit harder because they don't have the triggers on there. So once you get this open, you then go to sticks, enable it, Put the the this stick right here on the left stick, and uh, then after you do that, go to skip D-pad. He's you're not going to use this. Go to buttons. Now, when you're inputting your buttons, uh, the thing you need to do is obviously for X, you hit X real quick. It's going to bring up a button that's going to appear on the screen. You put this button right here on this X. Uh, if you put it on any other button, it's going to it's going to mess up. So just make sure you you put that button on there. And you guys already know that. So you do this for every single button. It usually all the buttons usually come right here or the button uh, layouts they come right here. Then you move it here. Do that for RB A B R T all right you don't need to you don't need to hit the the right trigger buttons I'm gonna show you guys how to do the triggers so go ahead and delete that if you need to delete a button because you want to move it somewhere else go ahead and just hit uh, delete right here under the button make sure you click on it all right so I already got the buttons enabled all right so then you're gonna go to your triggers you're gonna hit enabled and then this automatically enables both of them and the way you can check is you can hit the buttons 
and they should come up. Okay. Messed up right there. Okay. Now, after you're done with that, forgot my LB button. Okay, there you go. And my star buttons. Look at me forgetting everything. Alright. So once you get all those buttons, everything's good. Make sure you double check. And then, okay. It's going to bring it up to here. Now, I've already have my buttons set up. So I'm not going to... I'm just going to show you how to do it. So you just double click. It's going to bring up a, uh, this keyboard. You can either type it in on here or you can um, just click on it. So you do this for each button. I use... Um, uh, I do not need that. Hold on a second. Okay, I used UIO uh, for my light, medium, heavy punch. And then I used JKL for my uh, kicks. Um, and then I use WSAD to move. And then obviously the left, the LB and LT, since they're all the way on the right side of the stick, I just use those for the start and the insert coin buttons. So once you get that, all that set up, you're going to go ahead and click on this again, and you're going to hit save. Okay, you're going to hit save as, name your stick or whatever. And then, I'm not going to name it because I already got this stick. Okay, and then you're going to go here on this side, and you're going to hit save. And this what this is going to do is, I already it's going to pull up that save screen. You're going to type in a name for it, or leave it untitled, whatever. And then, um, you need uh, you need to do this because if you don't if you don't save your keys every time you start up the when you start the program up it's not going to recognize the buttons because obviously the key the the keys because there's no input so you need to do this otherwise you're going to have to you're going to have to open this up and you're going to have to start it up again and you don't want to do that all right so once you get that saved uh, you click out of it real quick open your program that you're using I'm using GGPO, uh, and then you're going to go ahead and open your game. Hit load game, play third strike real quick. Alright, now here's one important thing. On your fight stick, where it says DP, RS, and LS, for obviously for the sticks, you need to switch that to LS. So I'll show you quick in case you don't know what I'm talking about right here. You need to switch this over to LS because this is the stick on X pattern that you assign to move. Okay. So once you do that, and you can use the right stick. I'm not saying. I'm just saying this is the stick. This is what I use. Go ahead and insert your coins. Let's start. All right. Now your stick should be moving. If you put it on DP, you can't move. So just showing real quick. Put on LS and just give you guys a test run real quick. And okay, so we're gonna start. You can jump up and put your inputs. You can dive kick and stuff like that if you use the twins. So yeah, there you go. And this will work for any arcade uh, emulator that you're using that you've already put your inputs into. Alright, so I hope you guys, this helped you guys out, and I'll catch you guys later.